Hi guys, it's Jo here from It's The J Live. How are we all doing? I am super good, thank you, and I hope you guys all are too. I'm so sorry that I've been a little bit quiet of late. I have just started a new job. In fact, I've been there nearly a month now. Time literally has a flown flowing away <laughs> so anyhow I do apologize if I've not been quite as active as I normally would be I've just had a lot going on it's been pretty intense so yeah but I thought I have to pop on to show you these items that I've picked up from Shein we all love a Shein haul don't we girls so if that sounds like your cup of tea stay tuned till just after this short little intro and I'll be right back around guys so we'll get straight in today's video with a short positive quote like we always do and today's is someone will always be prettier someone will always be smarter someone will always be richer someone will always be younger but they will never be you just remember that so guys let's get straight in to today's video so I am going to a wedding in April, and I haven't been to a wedding for years, so I'm super excited. But, so of course I've got a hen do to go to. Now, this is a very kind of adult, not mad hen do. She's having it at Betty's in it. Harrogate at the tea rooms. Now, if you're not familiar with Betty's, it is like a quaint essential English tea room where they all dress quite old fashioned and yes, you have afternoon tea and it's, you know, yeah, it's got like a je ne sais quoi to it, should we say. So obviously I needed a nice kind of smart, nice outfit to go with it. So I'm hoping that this is the that outfit but of course while I was on Jean I couldn't help but get a couple of other bits so I'll show you first and foremost what I have got so the outfit for the Quaint Central Tea Party hopefully is going to be this red dress Ta -da! so this is the red dress it is like a shirt material it's a little bit see-through but nothing that a little slip underneath won't help but solve. It's got kind of um, buttoned shirt type sleeves and it is shirt down at the front and then it is kind of smocked out at the bottom. So it's got these lovely little kind of stitched kind of ruffles in them but nothing too just to give it a bit of shape. And it looks like it's going to be a really nice long length. The thing with me is, and anyone else who is a bit bigger, who has big butts or boobs. So big boobs, the problem with that is that all your t-shirts are going to be shorter on you than anyone else. And the same with a big butt. It means that your dress is going to be shorter on you than anyone else. Because your butt or your boobs make it so and that's what I find with things so hopefully this is going to do the trick I just seen it and I thought oh it's so pretty so everything is in a 4x as usual and the shoes that I've got to go with it are in a size 7 now I have tried the shoes on and I am glad that I got them in a size 7 so these are the shoes We've got this lovely kind of buckle detail on the front and then there's no heel because I can't walk in the heels unless they're like about that big. So these are absolutely perfect. It is funny when I got them out because they're a little bit like um, a felt. <laughs> they're, they're like felt, that's like what they're made out of. So how long these will last for I do not know but 
yeah they're in a size 41 which is a uk size 7 now i am generally a size six and a half and they did have six and a half on the on the website but i decided to go for seven and i'm so glad that i did because when i first put my foot in these i thought these aren't gonna fit but then luckily um i just walked around the house in them a little while when i got my feet in them and they're absolutely fine and they actually feel quite comfortable as well so yeah i'm definitely glad i didn't go for the six and a half and i went for the full size seven so yeah so obviously there was not just one there was two so yeah so i got those also while we're on the subject can we just pay homage to my cute snoopy t-shirt how cute is this and what a lovely color green like i love it i got it from premark yesterday it's kind of a little bit oversized kind of snoopy t-shirt slightly cropped and then at the bottom here it says snoopy 19 oh i'm showing you my boobs 1950 1950 so yeah absolutely love that so next top so I watch a lovely lady called Sabrina. She's from Chicago, I think, in the States. I always love what she picks up. And she has this top in an array of colors. And you can get it in an array of colors. You can get it in pink, white, black, and other colors. But I got it in the black and white to try. So I'm not actually sure what it says. Uh, styles? Fashion styles, I think, is what it says. But it's a lovely like stretchy material and then it's got this cut out with two little buttons at the back so yeah i just thought that would be lovely with some black trousers or a black skirt and uh, the sleeves are really really poofy and it looks really really nice whenever sabrina has it on so i got that because yeah she's shown this off so many times and i thought i have to pick that up again in a 4x and then another item which <laughs> I think Sabrina has. I'm not stalking you, Sabrina. <laughs> but, you know, I suppose that's nice, isn't it? When somebody likes what you're showing off enough to go and buy it themselves. I think that's good. So, yeah, I have got this outfit, which is, is this houndstooth? So these are houndstooth trousers. So they are super stretchy. They're just kind of almost like a legging that you will pull on. And then they come with a really, really long jacket as well. Cardigan jacket that it comes with. So you've got, I'm guessing full length sleeves. And then is that a pocket? Yeah, real pockets. Real pockets. And then it comes with that to tie around your that's not ideal can you see that it's got like all the ribbons all frayed on it that's a little bit it's a bit unfortunate but it's not the end of the world hopefully it's only on the belt and it can probably hopefully be cut off and not seen the only thing i would say is I expected it to have belt hooks again it's that like stretchy material it's similar material to the top but there is no belt hooks, so it's just going to be one that you would just tie around. I did think that maybe the top in this would go, but on closer inspection, that is going to be a total clash. So yeah, I think this kind of will suit just a nice plain black top underneath it. Last but not least, to go with the red shoes. I got this belt and it's like a stretchy white belt which I thought might look nice with the dress if it needs a belt. Now all of these items I picked up with my discount and well, they were shipped for £48. So I got shoes, a top, two outfits and a belt for £48 and £97 if I'm going to be completely and utterly transparent so like wow like you can't be robbed <laughs> so anyway shall we try these items on so yeah we're gonna go off well i'm gonna go off i'm gonna try these items on for you see you in a minute so guys this is the first address and i really like it i think for an english tea party it's gorgeous so it's got loads and loads of room in it but i'm having a problem here <laughs> 
which I do have an issue with. If you can see, it is popping open. So I can't undo the button because then we are not going for the desired look. And it's a little bit slutty. <laughs> Therefore, I am going to have to attempt to wear a slightly more minimizer bra. And then my other idea was to see if my mother-in-law will put a little metal popper stud just on there and that should do the trick and keep that closed. So ignore the gay pitch in the top. I think it's just because there's quite a large, well because I've got massive boobs, but <laughs> because there's a rather large um, gap between the buttons. My other idea was to maybe move this button just ever so slightly if I can across because we do have a good inch there that we might be able to move the button but this happens in nearly any shirt <laughs> that I ever attempt to wear. So yeah it's definitely going to be one of those that wear a slip underneath it as well just on the off chance that that but that is the only place that it is remotely pulling. Everywhere else has loads and loads and loads of room in. So I'm gonna turn around for you. So that's it from the back. It's a gorgeous length and it, I don't feel like it's hugging my bum. I don't feel like if I bend over, I'm gonna be showing everybody God knows what. It's just really, really, really pretty. So these are the shoes absolutely gorgeous really really pretty it's such a shame though that i didn't realize that the the buckle on the belt was gold but we'll try the belt on so that's the dress with the belt on let me know in the comments down below do you prefer it with the belt or without i think i prefer it without i think it makes me look broader i think i prefer it without I think if anything a, a nice thin like a thin belt which I don't have would look great but because it kind of scoops out here anything wood's gonna any belt is gonna sit right under my boobs and right around this area that I'm having this gaping problem we don't want to exaggerate the boobs we want the boobs to my mum because I'm going to this with my mum it's a family wedding and um it's my mum's goddaughter that's getting married my mum mates my babes so yeah I have to you know it's Betty's you know we have to look prim and proper like little English ladies yes that is the the thing we're going for here so <laughs> so yeah anyway this is number one and I actually really really like it I'm quite happy with this and I love the shoes yeah I think the belt, it's only like £2, the belt will come in handy with something else but I think the dress, I think, looks better without. So then next guys we've got this outfit which is the jacket and the trousers with the belt. So this is it, it's super long, now I'm 5 foot 6 and this is long on me. It's like nothing I've ever owned or worn before at all. I suppose you could have it. You could make the jacket. You can make the jacket. There's no belt hooks in the jacket. The jacket does kind of ride open a little bit on its own. I love the fact that it's got proper, like proper pockets in it. That's great. Obviously, I'd have high heels on. High heels on as well. But yeah, I'm slightly uncomfortable with my tummy with the um, trousers. But they're in the fit. The fit absolutely great. And hopefully, if I lose some weight. <laughs> You know my tummy will go down a little bit and i feel a little bit better in it but if it's absolutely lovely like anything i i always struggle around the chest area but so that's it from the back and that's it without the belt on but yeah, it's a little bit different. I probably, like I say, would wear it with black 
black trousers rather than these trousers that have come with it but like you can see there is loads of room in the trousers should you want to try this for yourself they have it in red and black houndstooth pattern as well as this black and white one and at the time of ordering this it was in the sale so and then last but not least we've got this top which has these amazing shoulders in it now this as was the last outfit they're like 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex so they're super stretchy the only thing i would say about this particular top on me is the length of it isn't as long as i would have expected so i'll show you what i mean by that by pulling it out did think that this top would sit just slightly longer but it doesn't did you bear that in mind if you're expecting it to be a nice long top that will hide your tummy it it won't it's going to be a top that you need to tuck in i have paired it there as you can see with the belt i'm not sure i love this i think it's super cute like that's it from back yeah absolutely love this guys i think it's really really cute love the shoulders it's giving me that like 80s dallas vibes <laughs> absolutely phenomenal love it so guys that is all of the items that i have to show you i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please do consider giving it a big thumbs up I am Jo, I am a size UK 22, I am 5 foot 6 and all of the items like I said before were in a 4X and the shoes were in a size 7. I would recommend sizing up to your regular size with the shoes if you're in between like I am sometimes like a 6.5 and, and a UK 7. Um, I would go for the full size because yeah there's no way I would have fit in the size 6.5 so bear that in mind. The dress I am hoping a little press stud can sort that issue out here. This top, the sleeves are slightly itchy, which is slightly random. Just the shoulders, not the sleeves, the shoulders are itchy. But hopefully once I've given them a wash, that will help. But do bear that in mind if that's the kind of thing that really, really bothers you. Because yeah, these sleeves are a bit... <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? Check these out. <laughs> absolutely fantastic guys anyway it is saturday night so i will bid you guys farewell go and have yourselves a nice tipple have yourself a nice glass of vino a nice gin and tonic a jasmine whatever you'd like really <laughs> and me and jasmine here say hi to everybody Hello. she hasn't been on the channel for a while has she so wave <laughs> she's in a nice little hogwarts nighty there yeah should be having a nice bath is what no. this child needs no. yes but yeah anyhow guys i will bid you guys a farewell and if you haven't already do consider subscribing to the channel because it helps us guys out and i will see you guys in one of my future videos bye